All right, what we're looking at here is a permission set. And in particular, we're looking at one section, one little section of this uh, permission set, which allows you to assign record types. Uh, and we've got three record types in this org for account, and they're called account RT1, account RT2, and account RT3. And if I want to change these, I can do that. I can simply click edit, and I can manually uh, say, no, I want two and three to be enabled for this particular permission set. Uh, and there is a very similar uh, process for profiles. If we go and we look over here for profiles, the UI is a little different, uh, but the functionality is basically the same. I can take this, this is a test profile too, and I can modify here which accounts I want. I have this additional ability to set a default and I can save my changes. And it turns out that some uh, Salesforce admins spent a lot of time manipulating these record type assignments for permission sets and profiles. And there is a long standing ask on ID Exchange to do this in a more automated fashion. Uh, and so uh, we decided to solve this with Flow. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a new Flow extension called Setup via Flow. So here we have Setup via Flow. It's a flow that you can install into your org. Let's run it. So we want to edit record type assignments and we've got our choice uh, of two ways we can do it. Let's apply a complete set of record assignments across multiple permission sets. And let's do this for the account object. And these are those three record types. So they correspond to these one, two, three that you see right here. So let's say that we want to make two available but not make one and three. So our expectation then is that this would stay checked and this would become unassigned. That's the change we want. And we get to choose whether we want to apply this particular operation to profiles or permission sets. So let's go with permission sets. And here we have all of the permission sets in the org. There are some with some very strange uh, ID names. Not sure what those are doing there. But the key thing is we've got this is test perm set one. So let's modify that. and. While we're doing it, let's modify term, test term, perm set two. What's what? One of the things that's powerful here is you can apply this operation to multiple permission sets or multiple profiles at the same time. So we're done. That's all it took. Uh, and you can see that what we have done is we have assigned account RT2. Other assigns are unassigned. So let's go back to our permission set and reload this. And what we're expecting is that RT2 is going to be the only permission set checked. And indeed, there it is. And if we were to open up test perm set 2, you'd see that it too uh, was, uh, was working in that regard. So that's that's one way you can use this. Let's go and uh, try the other sort of way you can do this. Let's apply a single change to a record type across multiple permission sets. So this is nice when you just want to change one uh, and you want to leave all the other assignments alone. So let's go and take RT3 and assign it to um, to what we're doing here and then we'll go to permission sets and once again I'm going to select permission sets one and two so what I'm expecting is going to happen this time is it's going to leave two alone and it's going to activate it's going to assign three and one is going to stay unassigned and so we run that and that's done now let's refresh this and success. So we've got a nice tool here for doing that. Now let's just uh, to finish things off let's take a look at profiles which are uh, just a little more nuanced. Uh, so 
if we want to, let's say, change a profile, here we have test profile two. Let's go down here to test profile two's record set, record types, here it is, record types for accounts. So right now, all three record types are selected. They are assigned for XXX test profile two and the default is account RT2. So we wanna change all of that. So let's do, let's say we're gonna do a complete set for account. Uh, and let's say that we want to only have RT3 uh, and uh, let's, we have to make that the default as well. You have to be careful to make sure that you don't unassign a record type that's the default without assigning that default to something that is going to be assigned. Uh, a little too complicated to do that all automatically so uh, make sure that you assign your default here and here are all of the profiles we can choose so what are we expecting again we're expecting that only RT3 is going to stay here and selected and we expect it to become the default so let's run this operation And now let's go and refresh this profile. And you can see that it successfully made that change. So a uh, useful tool uh, shows off the power of flow. If you're interested in development, I'm going to record a separate video that shows how this was done. Uh, if you're interested in extending this to one of the many other things that you might want to do in a mass way on profiles or permission sets, then if you're an admin, uh, feel free to leave a comment about what you think we should add to this. And if you're a developer, please consider uh, uh, jumping in to the project and uh, adding some uh, capabilities uh, to this, uh, this very cool uh, and very uh, high potential tool. Thank you.